I've literally just gotten home. Look how cool that pumpkin thing is. So first up on this food tour, we are going to try hot pot. If you haven't had it before, it's basically a boiling pot of broth, and then you basically boil different ingredients in it. So you've got like meats and seafood, veggies, noodles. It's an amazing thing to eat. And it can be as healthy as you want it to be. So yes, gonna go down and take you along with me and show you what a traditional Chinese hot pot is like. I am very excited. Today is the winter solstice, so everybody is out for dinner. But let me show you around. This is a hot pot buffet, so you pay a fixed price and you can eat as much as you like. So that is pretty darn good, especially when you come up a flight and you are feeling very hungry like I am. So these are the different prices for the different timings and these are all the different things that you can get. So over here we've got some fatty beef, got some prawns, some pig intestines and innards, you've got some lamb, chicken. Oh, one ton. Some wonton in there. So you can choose different types of bases. So this one is a Szechuan chili base. You can get some chili, uh, like pig stomach. So normally you order the meat and the seafood dishes off the menu. And now we are on our way to get some vegetables. I've never been to a hot pot restaurant before, so all of this is new to me as well. But everybody here is having hot pot. And it smells so good. So it's, yeah. Woo! I am so hungry. Oh, look. And then you can get a different types of drinks here as well behind me. So this is where you get the different types of vegetables. You can literally just pick them up and take them with you. So you've got like pak choy, you've got some sugar cane juice up here. And over here you've got sweet corn, mushrooms, Japanese mushrooms, udon, tomatoes, loads of stuff. So just help yourself. I'm gonna get some chai sum. These are really, really tasty. <gasps> What's over there? Is that ice cream? Yes, it's gonna come for you later. This is a soy sauce base. I'm gonna add some garlic to it and then maybe some chili and some scallions. And then you can then dip all the different types of like meat and veggies and stuff into this to season it. I just got a big plate of mushrooms as well. Let's go. So over here we've got some prawns, some wonton and some fish balls. For some fatty beef. This literally takes like two seconds in there. Ta -da! I'm dipping it in here. Inside. It's like a sweet, creamy flavour. So it's now finished with pot pot, and we are now at a place called Honeymoon Dessert to get some dessert today. Because it's the winter solstice, you're meant to have some glutinous rice balls to signify unity with the family. So we are going to have a couple of those each because I am stuffed full from fat and beef. And then, yeah, I'm gonna show you what it's like. Mm -hmm. Here I have some glutinous rice balls and then inside there is some black sesame paste inside and it's got a ginger syrup 
uh, soup base. So it's very, very sweet. Little bit of a kick with the ginger. It looks like this. It's got some black sesame paste on the inside. And the outside is very, very gooey. It's sticky. It's sweet. Just going to finish that. And then the Chinese tradition is done for today. So you can find a bunch of dessert shops in Hong Kong that are open all day. But the peak times are usually after dinner and get everything from like the hot stuff to waffles to ice cream to my favorite, which is mango sago. And it's so good. It's like these little tapioca pearl things big chunks of mango and mango syrup and mango ice cream and it is amazing um, but yeah definitely a good place to go to after dinner with friends or family very very full and on to the next day and please forgive my appearance my face is very puffy and tired looking uh, after the plane ride so yes forgive that <laughs> 